Why do fish die when nitrite values are high? Where does the nitrite come from? And what can we do against nitrite? Here the issue is the nitrogen cycle. We all learned about it in school, and it was explained vaguely and sometimes not very cleverly. We have a protein, for example a dead fish. Because of the protein there is also a very strong smell when it denaturizes, rots. The protein turns into ammonium or ammonia, NH4 or NH3, and this turns into nitrite. This is a substance that can actually kill fish. Nitrite turns into nitrate. This is the first stage of nitrogen decomposition. Nitrate, in turn, can be reduced by bacteria to nitrite. If no oxygen is present, the bacteria break oxygen out of the nitrate. NO3, it turns into nitrite, NO2. If even more oxygen is taken, we have NO. And if all of the oxygen is taken, we have N, pure nitrogen. This is a gas, and the gas escapes from the water. This would be the cycle for the reduction of nitrogen in the aquarium. Now, though, it is about the nitrite. Why is nitrite so dangerous for the fish? Ammonium, not a problem. Protein, not a problem. The next stage, nitrate, not a problem. No nitrogen, no nitrogen compounds apart from ammonia and nitrite can kill fish. Nitrite is special. It fits like a key to the lock to the blood of living beings on Earth, including to the blood of human beings. For babies, food containing nitrite is particularly dangerous if they, for example, swallow water containing nitrite. In this case, the nitrite in the blood would prevent oxygen from being able to latch on there. The nitrite has the same shape as oxygen in hemoglobin and can latch on there. It then occupies this place with the result that the blood is unable to transport any more oxygen, and that is dangerous. The result is internal suffocation, and this applies both to babies, who have relatively low oxygen levels, and to fish. As soon as the nitrite content in the aquarium goes up, the fish can suffocate internally. The critical nitrite value is 0.4 milligrams per liter. As soon as it is higher, 0.5, 0.6 milligrams and so on, the fish die, or at least suffer long-term damage, but it is highly probable that the fish will die. What can you do to combat this? Before we consider this, we should think about why we have too much nitrite in the water in the first place. There are several reasons for this. Reason number one. We have, as you can see in this aquarium, too many fish. Too many fish means a lot of food. And a lot of food means a high water pollution load, because the fish also excrete a lot of substances. The substances have to be reduced by bacteria, to protein, to ammonium or ammonia, to nitrite, here we have the substance again, and then to nitrate. This reduction has to be done by bacteria. But with so many fish, the bacteria in the filter do not manage to reduce all of these substances completely to nitrogen gas. Then, for example, nitrite builds up in the aquarium. You can determine the nitrite value with a nitrite test. With this, you can see, uh-oh, the nitrite value is going up. Something's wrong. If it reaches 0.4 or 0.5 milligrams, it is too late. With the test, you can see it is zero, as it should be. There should never be any trace of nitrite, NO2, in an aquarium that is functioning properly. As soon as a value over 0.1 is detected, it is a problem. Assuming we have, as here, too many fish and too much food, the water pollution load rises. Now we should, of course, reduce the number of fish. As a result, the amount of food we pour in reduces. But what action can we take immediately? For the moment, fish die, because there is a problem with nitrite. I need to take action immediately. One of the first measures you can take immediately is a partial water change. A partial water change does not mean replacing 90% of the water, but 30 to no more than 50%. Fresh water, water conditioner, and then, very important, add bacteria. 
They reduce the pollutant. We therefore increase the number of pollutant reducing bacteria, which then reduce the excessive nitrite and turn it into non toxic nitrate, a very important factor. In doing this, you can get it under control. We have not yet tackled the cause, but only got the acute nitrite problem under control for the time being. Overpopulation is not always the only reason for nitrite values. Many aquariums, hopefully yours too, are not overpopulated. They have the right amount of fish, they have plants, everything is working. Despite this, nitrite values can still be high. What else affects the nitrite value? First and foremost, salt. Salt is used readily by many aquarists. To this day, I don't know why. It's in the literature, it's recommended, lots of people do it. I don't know. Although salt can reduce the toxicity of some substances, including nitrite for example, it cannot be the right way. Because salt also has big disadvantages. The water plants don't like salt at all, for example. I am talking about cooking salt, typical table salt or sea salt. This type of salt do not belong in a freshwater aquarium. The plants cannot tolerate them. They don't like it at all. Plant growth stagnates. Secondly, you have a filter. In the filter, live bacteria, which reduce pollutants. And these bacteria do not like any fluctuations in salt content. As soon as you pour in salt, the salt content rises. The bacteria die because they cannot tolerate the change in salt content, either up or down. They can adapt through mutations, but your filter is suddenly practically ineffective. You need to be careful, so please don't add salt for no reason. You might possibly add salt for therapeutic reasons, in order to combat fish diseases. We will discuss this topic later. It may make sense to add salt if your fish have a disease. If you do, please only do this temporarily and not permanently, and only if it is really needed, if it supplements a medication, and afterwards a change of water takes place in which the salt is removed again. As mentioned previously, your plants will otherwise no longer grow. When you combat a fish disease, as I have already mentioned, medication is an important factor which can also affect the bacteria fauna. This is completely logical. When you buy a medication to combat bacteria, to combat a bacterial disease, how is the medication supposed to distinguish between a bacteria on the fish, that is to say a pathogenic bacteria, and a positive bacteria, which lives in the filter and reduces pollutants? The antibacterial medication will kill both bacteria. That is to say it will in all probability get the bacterial disease under control, but afterwards the water values will be bad because your filter will no longer work biologically. The ammonia nitrite value will go up, and then the problem returns. These would be the typical reasons why we have too much nitrite in the water. We find a remedy by examining the causes, fish population, quantity of food, size of filter, and not continuously cleaning the filter. Some people seemingly have a lot of time. They are permanently cleaning their filter, and each time they destroy the biology that has just been formed in the filter. Please just let the filter run as is necessary for the size of the filter. If it is small, it needs to be cleaned more often. Bigger filters do not need to be cleaned as often. In this case, clean the filter after, let's say, approximately eight weeks. Then the filter will be inoculated again, there are special bacteria for filters, and then it will function biologically again. It is very important that filters are cleaned once in a while, but the filter can only reduce a certain amount of pollutants that accumulate in the aquarium. Let's summarize. We carry out a water test. In the worst case, the nitrite value is too high. In the very worst case, we would see fish dying, gasping or suffering from symptoms of poisoning. The action we would take immediately would be a partial water change. First of all, adding fresh water. Don't forget water conditioner, so that the heavy metals are bound and chlorine and disinfectants are neutralized. Then there is a product called JBL Detoxol. This removes toxic substances from the water, turns problem substances into non-toxic amines, which is great, but it doesn't remedy the cause, only the indirect problem. 
kurzzeitig Problembehebung. Then we should start to look for the cause. If I have 100 fish in a small aquarium, if I feed too much, if the filter is too small, how often do I do a partial water change? Do I use a sediment bell or gravel cleaner in the water change? All of these things need to be considered. Then I find the cause. When that has happened, I need to get the bacteria housekeeping back into shape. I do this by inoculating the filter, that is to say, add bacteria when cleaning it, and when I have done a partial water change. Then there should and must no longer be any trace of nitrite. If you manage that, you have solved the problem.